got me banned. I don't know what I did wrong, so I suggest Mario. It's much easier. Now, before you even download Mario, you should first find a game you want to mod. Then take that game save, like for instance, it's called the save game from World of War. You want to take that game save and put it on your USB from either an Xbox or a PS3. Now you're going to have to configure your USB first before you do anything. So start that while I do this. So once you get your USB, I mean your save game onto your USB, you can either do two things. You can one look up save games on YouTube or two quickly make an easy fast account for Mario log in and search for search for any type of game you want like download a game save allows you to download any modded game save that you want since I already have a mod save game which is World at War I'm going to show you what to do with it so the first thing you want to do is you want to explore a device. Pretty simple, straightforward. You want to open your device. You want to open your content. You want to open your profile, the E005D, whatever the crap it is. You want to open the specific game you want to mod. Now I've modded most of these games, but some of them I, I didn't have good luck with. So I'm going to open World at War. Game save. Now I'm gonna drag this out here. Oh wait, sorry, not there. Sorry, um Actually yeah, out here, sorry. It's gonna say this file already exists because I already have it there. I'm gonna say yes. So you're gonna drag your save game out here. Now once you have this out here, you're gonna wanna drag it in here. Now as you can clearly see, it's my profile and it's my device ID. Now I'm going to download a game save. Oh, sorry, hang on a second. Let me get rid of this qu real quick. I'm going to download game save. I'm going to type in Call of Duty World at War modded game save. This is what I normally do. If it doesn't find any results, just try again. So I'm just going to do Call of Duty World at War. So COD World at War. That usually works. So here you're like, there's a ton of matches. Now you might want to get the one most downloaded and the one most liked. Because that will obviously be the best one there is. So let's see, there's God, No Clip, Infinite Ammo, Mod Menu. Well, you know, I mean, there's all this stuff. So you want to download. And I would put it somewhere in my downloads, but let me just check if I already have a save game in here. Um, let's see what this is first of all. It's called the World of War. Let me just save it here. Yes, I do want to replace it. Now, note, this is one of the few games that you can actually mod online zombies. It works for single player, split screen, and online zombies. This does not work for multiplayer, but it does work for zombies. So, once you downloaded your modded game save, what you want to do is you want to go to wherever you stored it. I put it in my download section. You want to print it. Oh, God. Hang on a second. Come on. No, what? Okay. You want to bring it over here just like you did with your old save. Now, what you want to do is you want to copy all of your profile ID and paste it onto this E000 profile ID. You want to copy your device ID and paste it on the 000 device ID. You want to rehash and resign this this save game this one not this one this one is just yours you wanna rehash and resign the new one so you hear a little beep you can exit both of these out then what you wanna do is you wanna go back to explore device file open content your content your game your game save you can you can delete this and what you wanna do you want to go back to your wherever you stored your modded game save 
find that, drag it in here, and voila, you're done. Simple and easy. The easiest way to mod any game. This can do be done for Dishonored, for Black Ops 2, offline of course, online you will get banned, for Halo Reach, for just any game. Thank you guys for watching, for enjoying this, and I will see you guys next time on the next video I'll make.